Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back, and I'm always so happy to be here with you guys. I hope everybody has had a fantastic couple of days since I saw you last in Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I have some great things I cannot wait to show you, so let's just jump right into it and hit it. I found, okay, I found a set of two yardstakes of these little gnomes that came together for that $1.25 price. And these are just so cute. So I couldn't believe there was actually two of them for the $1.25. I, I had to read the tag like twice to make sure that it did say two and they weren't just stuck together. These are the two that I picked out that came in this set right here. They're adorable. And they had a couple of different options of others that you could pick out. There was like an Uncle Sam looking one. They were just so sweet. So to stake them right into the ground all the way down to like their feet, they'll look like they're standing right in your lawn and looking at the traffic as it goes by. I think that this is really a cute little decoration piece for the outdoors to be able to stake that right into the ground. Now, I also found this tub right here in the patriotic section. They had a white option, they had a blue option, and they had a red option. But I wanted the white, so I picked up several of these. This is great, you know, to kind of like put outside of a pool. I, I don't have an actual pool. I don't have an in-ground pool. I don't have an above-ground pool. But I do like to get like a little kiddie pool in the summer just to kind of like, you know, splash around and lay outside, read a book, sit in my little blow-up kiddie pool. I don't mind cools me down and I have a nice time in it out in my backyard with my little woodland creatures that come and visit me. So this tub right here I can use to put water in, soak my feet to make sure I'm not bringing any dirt into the pool if I'm walking outdoors. So to clean off your feet before you enter, I got one for that. I also got one to put some ice in and some drinks on the table. So I got them for a couple of, you know, different reasons. I think that they're a really good circular size and I like the handles on the side. So I thought that that was a great pickup and the red, white, and blue together would look really cute if you're going to have like a 4th of July cookout or something like that. So those are there in the patriotic section. They were kind of just setting stuff out now to, um, to set that whole area up so I haven't seen everything that is coming out in that line for this year but I'm excited to see it now we're going camping and yes we camp in a tent um June 10th is our first camping trip for the season and I like to decorate a little bit around our campsite I always do so I picked up this picture right here hold on one second my husband's phone is dying and he needs to plug it in. Richie, yeah. your phone is going dark, so it means that it's going to die. So, anywho, this framed picture right here is a really, really decent size. Let me see if it actually says a size on it. Um, I don't see an actual size, but it is, you know, a great size picture in the glass frame with the border around it. It's so, so pretty, and it says, Welcome to the Great Outdoors. And I love every single thing in this whole entire picture right there. We have backpacks and cameras, kayaks, fish, bear, boots, tents, everything. Just all the things that we love the most, dragonflies, all of that, little woodland creatures, little bumblebees. And I thought that this was a really cute picture to grab and bring up to camp with us. It has the hanging mechanism on the back. So I thought that that was just so dear. They've come out with some pretty great canvases, you know. They, they've come out with great picture framed little prints. I just love them. And I have so much fun picking those up. Now, I did find this light. It is a repeat buy, but this light is awesome. I love this light. We have several of them, and these are really good for camp. You can hold them. They have like a little handle there. It says slide LED light front COB. Um, 
right there. That's what that says. It says slide LED 60 and front COB 100. Just in case you guys need to know that and you know what that means, there you go. It also needs three AA batteries to make it function. It has that big front light right there, which shines super bright, and then a little side light. So it's really, really, you know, great. It's amazing to walk to the restroom in the middle of the night if we have to go to take, you know, evening little walks in the woods on the trails. It's just a really good light to have on hand. And I will take several of those. Um, when I can find them, I'm always going to pick them up because we go in all different directions when we're up at camp. Some of them go off fishing for hours on end. You know, I'll just take off and go walking a lot and sometimes I'm alone and it's nice to have a little light to illuminate the way. Now, I found some great, great little storage containers, collapsible, and these are a really, really nice size. These are the bigger size that they offer and I got it in this really, really pretty color right here. So I got a new short three tier bookshelf, a white one from Walmart for $22. And I'm going to use it to organize some coffee area in my kitchen, kind of like get it all together. And I got several of these to put as little, as little drawers inside of the bookshelf. So I think that they're going to be really pretty in my beach theme kitchen. I did post a video of how all of that beach theme from the Dollar Tree came together. I decorated my whole kitchen and it looks so beautiful. Now this is, um, this, I'm going to just show you the measurements instead of reading them off so that in case you need to see and know the measurements, you can take a screenshot and then see if that will fit into shelving that you have as well. So it has the little handle to be able to pull it out. And I just love these and the color of that I think is beautiful. So I got lots of these to fit in that three tier shelf so that I can put everything in their own compartments and I can even label them so that they don't go haywire and then we lose track of what's going on over there. Now, before I start on any of this other little nautical and beach stuff, the couple of things that I just found that I had not been able to pick up, I do want to say that I got more of these particular room sprays, okay? When I showed them to you a couple of hauls ago, I read the spearmint, and when I initially sprayed it, you could smell the spearmint super strong. But then afterwards, I noticed on the bottle that it says spearmint patchouli, okay? So initially, you can smell that spearmint really, really like right out there. But after it settles and you get used to it, there was a definite hint of something different, and I studied the bottle, and it's patchouli. These smell so good. My mom already stole mine. She was like, what are you spraying down here? I can smell it all the way on the third floor of this house. And I love that. So I went back and picked up two more. If you like patchouli, this is a really good combination. And the lasting effect of those sprays is incredible because they are with essential oils. And it's really, really nice, nice, nice scent. Now, I did find this beautiful, beautiful wooden piece right here of this mermaid. I got the other one and hauled it for you guys already, but this one is in full swim. She is swimming up toward the sunshine, and this makes me want, just her whole pose right here, makes me want to watch The Little Mermaid. I love the addition piece of the little starfish right on there. I'm probably just going to paint her one solid color. And leave the starfish showing. I think she's beautiful and she does have the string to be able to hang her afterwards. I think that just the structure of this is so so beautiful. So if like we want to have like a beach paint night I can get several of those set them around the table with some paints or some stain and just make them really really pretty. I love those so much. Her and the other one that I picked up in the wooden form like that. Now these yard stakes right here are 
new to the line also for the beach theme that they came out with I hadn't seen these prior and I think that they're so pretty I might honestly um put a few out in the yard because I got several of these as well and I might bring some up to camp with me too if I want to decorate for a beach theme cookout night while we're camping so the colors of these I think is really really pretty beachy this is like a nice beautiful sandy look to that one I love that color blue it's like that slate blue and it has all of these features down on the side of it with the starfish and the seashell and then this really long staked part so that you can really get it in the ground and it can stay nicely so I thought that these were stunning and really really cute pieces to that line that I hadn't seen yet I also picked up this starfish and I put it in my thumbnail on Wednesday's haul and I forgot to show it to you. <laughs> I looked at the thumbnail after and I was like, okay, girl, you like, you are so tired. And I, I said it on my crazy Callan vlogs channel. I've been super sick. Honestly, I haven't mentioned it here at all, but there's been a virus going around this whole house for the last couple of weeks. And I've gotten it, Richie's gotten it, my mom has gotten it, like everybody's not been well. And I've just been pulling it off and going through my days, just not feeling very well. So I've been very scattered and struggling and stuff. So I, I flubbed up, <laughs> but this is the starfish that was in the thumbnail on Wednesday's haul. And I thought it was really, really nice, a new wire wreath form. You know how much I love their wire wreath forms in the crafting section. But I did find this with the beach stuff that they're coming out with. So I think the shape is really, really fantastic. I'll probably just spray paint it white or some type of like aqua blue and keep it as is. But embellish it all day long if that's what you would choose to do with that. So I think that's really, really incredible. I love their wire wreath form options. They have literally gone above and beyond with them they're not just circular they're square they're all shapes for different seasons everything they've incredible awesome job and then i picked up this sign right here i hadn't seen this one and this one just sucked me right in i love the wood grain look the ocean waves and the beautiful starfish on the bottom and it says sky above sand below and peace within so I thought that that was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That just makes me happy. The saying of it just, it brings peace. So here is the twine string to be able to hang it. And I will find somewhere nice to be able to position that in the house. If you guys aren't over on my crazy Callan vlogs channel, you don't even, you don't even have to subscribe if you don't want. That's just a place I like to connect with my friends. But if you wanted to go check out a few videos and decide if you wanted to stay or not and hang out with me over there and just kind of get to know me better, um, there is that channel as well. Maybe check it out. Just see if it interests you. If it doesn't, that's fine. We will just keep doing our Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays over here and having some fun. Now, I honestly found this and I needed them. I have plenty of placemats, but this was such a beautiful print on here. I just loved it so much. So I picked up four of these because you know I like to change out my dinner and place settings on the outdoor patio set and the indoor kitchen table so i thought this was nice this says make memories along the way it does have the truck with all the florals in the back and it looks like just like a regular drawing and i think it's really really pretty so i picked that up and i did notice that they had some coasters and stuff but i didn't pick up the coasters because there's only one coaster for the $1.25 price. If it had been a coaster set that was four to a package, I would have grabbed them. But one for $1.25, I can probably find, you know, a set of coasters that looks like it could match that somewhere else with four of them to the package. So I picked that up. Now, I found this. And I've seen a lot of people hauling the gnome in the luggage tags but I've never seen the sloth on the beach ball and 
he just looks like he's having the best day of his whole life. So these are luggage tags. There was a whole entire strip of them up by the registers. They had unicorns. They had a pineapple, I believe. Um, they had several, they had a butterfly, but these are the two that just made my heart super duper happy. And I plan on traveling. I don't care at this point if I have to do it alone. If I, you know, I just want to hit the open road. I want to do some, you know, new experiences. I want to travel and I want to start packing my bags and making some solid plans and setting some dates to get out there on the road and just, you know, and just experience some new stuff. So I picked those up because those are making me happy. Plus they're going to be cute on my luggage. Now I also picked up this package right here. From the Essentials brand, this is the Mesh Laundry Bags, and there's three to a package. So I thought that this is great. I've seen them before. I hadn't picked them up, but now because of traveling, I have decided to grab them. I can put my hair accessories in one. I can put a couple of like my toiletry smaller items in another, like my toothbrush, my toothpaste, my floss, things like that, washcloths, face um, wipes, you know, that I really like and just kind of separate them into three different bags so that it will all stay contained, you know, with the different themes of things that I need to pack. So they do have a zipper on them so that, you know, they zip, they unzip and then zip and they go, you can put clothes in there like you see here to keep things neat and separated. So I thought that this was really great to use for packing purposes. Picked those up. Then I found a new bucket hat that I had yet to see. And this is this gorgeous blue tie-dye one. And I love it because it's tie-dye and it's just so beautiful. So this is, you know, the darker blue, the lighter blue, the like aqua blue and the white swirled all together. This makes me want to get out back with all of my tie-dye and start doing that because I just love it through the summer. It is so fun. So another super cute bucket hat. And the first time that I hauled bucket hats for you guys, I did show you that they say kids on them, but they fit my head. So I don't know if I have a big head, small head, what size head I actually have. I've never actually measured it, but those hats actually fit and they look really cute on and I cannot wait to wear my rainbow one that I hauled a few I think last week so I grabbed that one now I picked up some new socks and I haven't seen really cute new socks in quite a while but I found them this time so I like to scuff around in my socks around the house. There's no shoes allowed in my house. So there is a sock basket right by the door. And I had to add these to my collection. This is women's size five to nine. This is from the Beverly Hills Polo Club. That's the brand of these. And I thought that these were so cute with the little, um, oh my heavens, hedgehog, I believe that is, with the little hearts and the pink cheeks, and she's smiling. So there's two pairs in here. This is the other set that's inside. So I thought that that was definitely an awesome pickup for the $1.25 price. Then we also have these, which are from the Juncture brand, and they're size 5 to 9 from Women's. There's two in here and these have little coffee mugs on them. So let me see because it's a little difficult to see what the wording is. And it says a hug. I'm assuming that that's what it's. So the words up here in white, it says a hug. And I'm assuming it's like you're supposed to think in a mug with looking at the happy face coffee mug underneath. So a hug and a mug is how I'm going to think of these socks. And then on the other side, it just has a nice gray pair. So I thought that these were super adorable, really, really cute and fun. Then I found some more gold toe socks. And we can't get enough of the gold toe around here because these are relatively expensive, normal price. But of course, they always put the sticker over it and you can't see the original price, I will attempt to, to take it off. Nope, it, 
it's the sticker that has like the black ink so look at what it already did to my nail so it's not going to allow us to see the original price but this one is a three pack these are dress fashion three pairs spandex for perfect fit and um they're all really cute everybody loves the gold toe in this house so there's three really nice pairs inside of this set right here and I can only imagine these must be like maybe around 10 ish dollars, if not a couple of dollars more, because there's three in here. So that is really amazing. The guys love to wear those. And that is, you know, just a great addition for them. Now I have some new bags. Oh, no, girl, what am I forgetting? I found a whole other stack of socks. I will show you those bags in one second, though. I found new men's dress socks. So I picked some more up. I grabbed these because my husband has a sock collection that I've made for him. These are men's six to nine and they have the cookout type of theme all over them with the cheeseburgers, the spas spatula and the little pitchfork, the red, you know, band around here and the heel. So I thought that those were really, really cute for his summertime sock collection. We also have these with the bumblebees on it, men's six to 12. So there are the bumblebees and I love, love, love the green background. They have the gold heel and the gold, uh, the gray heel and the gray stripe up above. Really, really cute. And now we have the sharks, six to 12 again. And we have the sharks with the blue background, the black rim, and the black heel. So love all the socks. Always love all the socks. They hadn't stocked in quite a while, honestly, in the sock department. So I had been missing the sock collection um, reboot for quite a while. And I was happy to see that they were getting it all the way back together so we could pick up some new ones. Now, they had some brand new amazing tank tops over in the sock aisle where I picked those up. They had some great, great tanks. And this is from the Fruit of the Loom brand. It actually does have the original tag on it. These are $2.97 originally. These are youth size. So they were there. There was orange ones. There was blue ones. Um... I think that there was one that was gray as well, but it might have not had like this rimmed uh, look around it where it's a different color. I think it was just like a solid tank top, but this one is really, really cute. I love the green and the blue together. This is definitely something that I would have put my son in as a little boy. Believe me, he had a bright and colorful wardrobe just like his mama and his favorite colors were funky, just like I always um, showed him like a lot of color in his life and he always liked to have a lot of color with what he wore. So we always had fun dressing him. These are really, really nice tank tops, good quality. The, the, the comfort, you know, feeling of the material is great. And so Pick up some summer clothes if you can grab them for $1.25. These kids go out, they play, you know, they're outside doing recreational activities through the nicer months. Go get them some $1.25 tank tops and t-shirts. And then if they, you know, they're play clothes, then just let them have fun in them. I love it. You know, I love it. I just love it. <laughs> and then I grab some new tote bags. And these are all fantastic. They had so many to choose from, but these three were the ones that were my absolute favorite. These canvas bags, they're, they're really decent, I think. They have, they're a nice size. They, they, the patterns on them are really, really cute and pretty. The handles seem really nicely sewed in. They're a nice, nice canvas. So I picked this up so that I can switch out my beach bag whenever I feel like it and I want to just change up the theme of things. So I grabbed that one. Then I also grabbed this one with the lemons all over it. And how bright and cheerful and happy is this one? So absolutely adorably cute. The lemons are just 
really, really bright and happy. So I picked this one up as well. And then I think they had a pink one with like some Hawaiian looking flowers on there and stuff. I didn't grab all, all of them. I just really loved these. And then of course I picked up the one that had the seashells and starfish all over it. So I thought this one was really, really, really cute. Put some beach toys in there if you have some little ones, you know, sand toys or pack a diaper bag inside of one of those. Bring some swimmies, things that they need, the, the bottle if they need it to get down to the beach. Put whatever your little heart desires in there. In those bags, there's going to be flip-flops, sunblock, a book, mm, a towel to lay on and to dry off with and maybe some snacks and a drink and this girl is going down to that ocean and i need some vitamin d like asap we uh, we need some vitamin d around here for sure this has been a long long winter and i'm over it <laughs> so that's the plan with those bags now i picked up a nice new sunglass case so that I can tote them right down in those cute little bags. And this one says kindness, love life. Um, it says choose kindness actually and love life. And these are the really, really great eyeglass cases that have that like snap pouch holds the glasses in really, really well. I have so many pairs of these little um, cases and the vinyl on them is really nice and it has a soft interior so that the glasses don't get scratched or anything. It's just a really, really nice eyeglass case. So I picked those up to put my sunglasses in. Now I grabbed this stylus pen as well because Richie needed it. And this is from E Cricut. It's a black ink pen. It's a four in one stylus pen. So I picked this up and it says it's a pen, a stylus, a flashlight, and a laser. So how incredible is that to have all of those options on just one pen? That's pretty nifty. So I picked that up for him. Now I'm wondering if we should stop in a moment because we are getting close to the time. And then I want to tell you that we're going to be doing another giveaway for 1,300 subscriber mark. So just let me show you this last thing. And then we're going to stop here and talk about that. Now, look at this car freshener. I just have to tell you, I think that this is so silly. We were laughing in the aisle myself and the manager of the Dollar Tree where I found this. He was like, are you really going to buy that? <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I really am because not even for an air freshener, because I think it would be like a violation <laughs> to hang this from your rear view mirror in your car. I'm pretty sure that would be like a distraction. And I don't think the police officers would appreciate this hanging for an air freshener. <laughs> so I actually just think it's beautiful and I'm probably going to craft with it in some way, shape or form. And I just needed to get it to show it to you guys because this was just so funny to me. This is from the driver's choice. They had so many different ones. I think there was like six different options of these. Um, um, but I had to get the ocean one. So it's supposed to be the ocean breeze scent. You know what? I'm going to open it. I have to smell this thing. I have to smell this thing and see what is going on with this. Okay. So we got the packaging off and it smells really intense to be a hundred percent honest with you. I'm just going to hang it up in my room and let the scent just permeate my space here. That is definitely not going in my car, but it's a beautiful scent and it's the ocean scent, but they had a bunch of different ones. And then after the scent is gone, I'm probably just going to use it like in scrapbooking or something like that when I'm putting a beach layout together in one of my scrapbooks. So look at the image on it. I think it's a really, really pretty image on it. I, it, and it smells incredible. I'm not going to lie. It smells incredible. So I'm going to hang that up probably off of my curtain so that my area can smell magnificent while I'm watching my show after and crafting. 
So that's it. <laughs> so that's it. I love you guys so much. Happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. I love your faces to the moon and back. You're amazing. And I just have so much fun being here with you guys. Now, I want to thank you guys so much. We have hit 1,300 and some odd numbers at this point. And so I want to offer you guys another $10 gift card to whoever wins this. You can choose where you want the $10 gift card to as long long as I can get to it somewhere here in Massachusetts to pick up the gift card for the particular place that you're requesting it for. So you have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to like my videos when you watch them because it's super helpful if you hit that like button and also comment down below and engage with me. It's fun to talk and get to know one another. I feel it's one of my favorite aspects of this whole entire journey. But even if you don't want to have a full-blown chat, if you watch my videos and you just want to leave me like one heart or something like that, just to say, hi, I'm here, um, subscribing, liking, and commenting are really helpful. So if you could do that, be 18 years and older, and that will um, be the way that you can enter to win. And down in this comment section below on this video today leave me 300 just leave me 300 300 zero, zero, somewhere in your comment that you're that you're going to leave me and I will take that as an entry and I will write your names down as I get them in and then collectively I will do a video for you guys when I say who is going to win and show you in a video who one by pulling a name so just leave the 300 as the mark and we're going to leave it at that for this time because emojis not emojis some people have emojis on their phone sometimes they don't so we're just going to leave it simple for this time so that's it i love you guys so much so so much so i will probably pick and pull a name what is today it's saturday probably monday night I will pick and pull a name in the later, later part of the evening. So at 6 p.m. on Monday night, this coming Monday, I will stop taking names that enter after 6 p.m. And then a video will come out at some point during that nighttime to show me picking and telling you who won. And now I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I hope you have um, an amazing couple of days until I see you next. Please subscribe if you'd like. Share, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you can always see when my videos come out. I like to post them bright and early on Saturday mornings, Monday mornings, and Wednesday mornings. And I'm here with you guys every single week. Please like my videos when you watch them. That's really helpful. And I hope everybody has a happy, safe, loved, blessed, and kind to one another a couple of days until I see you next on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. And I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed and wonderful, wonderful night. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.